grass. I'll let you know. Yeah, you come down and. Uh... Well, I'm in Philadelphia pretty often. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, pieces. What's that? Are they pretty good pieces or? Uh... Well, it's it's sparse, but the pieces seem to be a little bit bigger than the upper layer. Huh. The upper layer was a little more a little more quantity, but. They seem to be woody. Big. Are you that woody variety of amber, or is it a uh, fairly clear stuff? No, this is the woody. The clear stuff was in the upper layer. Oh, that's good. Right. Very good. Keith just found this really large sized piece of amber. Nice. Unusual shape for amber, too. Usually the big ones are in long, skinny icicle shapes. This is like a, a blob. Working around it. Not to crack it, keep it in one piece. Yeah. Cracks really easy. Whoa. Look at that size piece of amber. Nice. That is incredible. Yeah, I think I think there's a uh, vertebrate in there. That's the skinkoid piece. <laughs> oh, I just got a little smaller. Oh. But still, isn't gigantic. There it is. That is incredible. See that face of that finder there? Yeah, he's smiling. That thing's gonna have 50, 60 insects in it. Hopefully, we only have another another 18 inches of lignite to go through, Ned. Yeah. And it's only four o'clock. Yeah, that's incredible. I think that's the biggest chunk I've ever seen that's clear yeah. out of here. I've seen some real cloudy big ones, but that is inc that's fist size. And it's looks really, really cool. Oh, that's incredible.